Hi, I'm Ben Larson. I'm doing my reflection on the CST250 microcomputer architecture and programming course. I uh, just wanted to share my thoughts with you on how I felt about the course. Uh, here's some of the positives. I really like that there was a lot of creative freedom in this course, that uh, in the projects it was up to us to determine how to uh, implement our code, how to uh, solve the task we were assigned. So we weren't really like railroaded into doing a specific thing or writing our code a specific way. So that was really nice. Um, the TAs and the instructor were extremely helpful. They always had some office hours where they would be open to uh, helping you out during your projects or whatever you needed help on. That was really nice and really helpful throughout the whole course, so I recommend definitely taking advantage of the office hours. Uh, the instructor was extremely understanding. Dr. Sohoni was, uh, he was just great. If they, anybody had like a, if the class just like missed a quiz or something, he would, he, he was really understanding about it and really appreciates the feedback that we give him. So that was that was really nice to see. Uh, the material was challenging, but uh, it wasn't impossible. So, meaning that uh, the projects were difficult and um, made me work. So I really had to figure out how to how to do certain things, and really challenged me in my coding but I could still do it on my own, which was nice. And the uh, material was usually uh, taught to us in a very clear way. We could generally get the concept of what uh, Dr. Sohoni was teaching. So it wasn't like we had no idea what he was talking about and were confused all the time. Uh, so that was, that was really nice because sometimes you get these instructors that you, just, you have no idea, or the way they teach just confuses you, and this was not really the way with Dr. Sohoni. He made sure that everyone um, understood what was being taught, and if uh, anybody had a problem or didn't quite understand, he would always ask if we had any questions, and he would answer our questions. He would make sure he would make sure that we understood. He wouldn't just like. Uh, repeat what he taught before when you ask a question he would he would try and teach it in a different way so you could understand which was great uh, there weren't too many negatives that I had with the course um, one with, with a big one with the whole class was that everyone was really confused about uh, when these quizzes would be opened up and when the when they were um, uh, when they were just closed off, like when the quizzes were done for, done with. And uh, I had that problem too, I missed a quiz or two. And really what I should have done is I just should have been going to the blackboard every day and looking through everything, because then I wouldn't have ever missed a quiz. But they were uh, not announced as well. Like, Maybe a good thing would be like if they announced every time, put an announcement on Blackboard every time the quiz a quiz was posted. Uh, but that wasn't the case, or maybe it was and I didn't even notice. So really, I guess the best thing to do is to just go to Blackboard every day. That's a hassle, and not everybody can do it. But sometimes it's what you gotta do. Uh, and then one of the other negatives that I noticed is that at the end of the course you can feel really overwhelmed because there's a lot of things that are due at the same time. But the thing is, is all those things that are due at the same time at the end, they're all usually like really easy projects and really easy assignments. So it's not anything too taxing, but it just feels like there's a lot. So you feel really overwhelmed. So really just don't feel overwhelmed because take the time to realize that it's not a whole lot, it's a uh, pretty easy workload, 
and if we just don't panic, you can get it all done easy. And, uh, you know, overall, I really enjoyed the course. I thought it, uh, it was taught extremely well that, that the teacher uh, really appreciates feedback, goes over feedback, was um, amazing to me because I've never had a teacher really do that before. And uh, I appreciate that he lets us take the time to to give our feedback on the course. That's all I have to say. Thanks.